Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji. Welcome to Kababayan Today. Ngayon naman, kasama natin ang dalawang Filipino-American from the organization cause. Let's introduce them si Tanya Edmilao at si Josh Aligado. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. All right, so you guys are here on Kababayan Today to talk about this organization that both of you are very passionate about, mm -hmm. cause. What does cause mean? So cause stands for Center for Asian Americans United for Self-Empowerment. And we're a nonprofit, nonpartisan community organization. Our mission is to uh, advance the political empowerment of the Asian Pacific American Community, or APA. And so we do a lot of voter registration, voter outreach, community outreach, and leadership development programs to do that. Okay, Tanya, how did you become a part of CAUSE? Well, I started in one of the leadership development programs that Josh was talking about. And I, I was an intern a couple years ago, and I just fell in love with the idea that I could be empowering the community on my own end. And when they offered me the job, I just got excited. And I was like, this is my opportunity to give back to the community. Wonderful. It seems like, you know, being empowered is something that happens when you're amongst your community, you're helping out, you're giving back, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so I always love the fact that people are so passionate about being part of an organization. Why is cause important to you? Josh? Well, cause is important to me because for a lot of Asian Pacific Americans, they don't really see a lot of elected leaders or it's hard for them to see or know. And so cause does a lot of great work to ensure that those leaders are out there in the community and we bring those leaders together. Those leaders help you know, develop our interns. They help teach young professionals how to become leaders in their own community type of work. And Tanya can talk more about our other, the other programs that we do too. Well, we have other initiatives that help um, with other audiences, like the, like women. Mm -hmm. So, Women in Power is a great, well, you know, it's a great program, uh -huh. <laughs> and that is where we invite prominent leaders of different fields to come and have an insightful and meaningful conversation to engage the community and say that there are leaders in different sectors. And we have, of course, like I mentioned, the Leadership Academy, mm -hmm. which was an internship program for our students to go intern at public offices and get a first-hand experience at a legislative of arena and then we have our civic leadership um, fellowship and we have our interns go to city government and help improve the lives of immigrant communities okay so how can people get involved it seems like such an amazing organization to be a part of what what is the protocol or the steps can anybody join right yeah so anyone can join yeah we would love for everyone to come help out devote their time it is a big organization we do a lot of great stuff so we need as much help as we can get right and so for students we enjoy we have a lot of high, uh, high school interns undergrad and also graduate interns that come into our office and volunteer their time for any of our events and then for you know young professionals or older professionals we appreciate them to come to our events either sponsoring or just attending and you know any donation we'd love that Right. Well, palagi kong sinasabi, I always say sa ating mga kababayan na nanonood, if you have uh, people in your family or in your community that you want to spread the good news to, this is something that they can tell, you know, their children or their nieces and nephews, hey, did you hear about cause? You should you look it up, be part of something that's bigger than just your own interests, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I know you guys are having an event very, very soon. Tanya, yes. can you invite everybody to this event? Yes, we would love for everyone to know that we are celebrating our 22nd annual dinner. And it will be held at the Western Bonaventure on May 7th. It's right around the corner. And this is our largest event where we have APA, Asian Pacific American Elected Officials, and leaders and community members who have have given back to the community and to be civically engaged and we are also having a, J a July event for our women power that we talked about mm -hmm. which will be women in philanthropy and that is coming up soon and if people want to know more we can they can visit our website at www.causeusa.org causeusa.org please share this invaluable information with everybody that you know and I must say the two of you Filipino-Americans are so well-spoken. Nakaka-proud! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing your time here on the show. And I wish you good luck with cause. And please, you are welcome back here on Kababayan today when you have anything to spread about this great organization. Thank you so much. Thank All right, you. Tanya, thank you. Josh, thank you. Pagbalik naman natin, kasama natin ang writer ng Hari ng Tondo, a film that was just shown at the VC Film Festival. Si Bibeth Ortesa is here for the very first time. We'll see you soon.